Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Another slow day, but Bitcoin reacted to the support area. At least it shows an initial reaction to the small support area, um, which is only really relevant for the micro count here, right? Um, but um, looking at the structure again, I can only really uh, keep it short here. The assumption is still valid um, and expected that or the expectation is still that we get another high um, targeting around about 37.6 K would be ideal, possibly a little bit higher. Uh, it could be that this wave five has already started in this scenario. The fourth wave completed here on the 3rd of November at 34,130. The move up would be an ending diagonal if it really continues to push higher from here. That means the subway structures are ABCs, so corrective. In an ending diagonal in an ending diagonal we have five waves but the sub waves are corrective so this could here be a wave one a wave two a wave three in an abc structure a wave four and a wave five so we might now be in this third wave might have done already 50 percent of the of the journey here maybe not quite but roughly um in this scenario if this was an a wave of wave three then the current pullback is a b wave of wave three and the c wave is possibly unfolding now, possibly a little later, you know, um, it still has space in support down there. And this wave count can be considered as long as the 34,530 level is holding, which is yesterday's low because a break below that would invalidate this idea of a C wave uh, to the upside because then the B wave would go down to low. Okay, so we want to hold yesterday's low, but there is Fibonacci support at 34,855 that if it breaks already will make a C wave higher less likely. On the other hand, we need to be aware that B waves can be very long. They can sometimes go into their sort of extremes, okay? So again, to keep it very simple, as long as yesterday's low is holding, this is one valid pathway that can be followed, that can be traded. If you like to trade these shorter time frame wave counts, be aware they are very fragile because we're dealing with a diagonal here, which is not a very desirable wave count. Um, and structure and um, yeah we might have to adjust the micro count here and there because it's not an impulse and that makes it always very very difficult why because corrective structures always change it's just what they do it's a feature <laughs> okay so the other um, idea which is part of the same scenario really is that we just reset this way for a little bit lower um, that can still happen as long as we uh, stay below 36k and it would be further confirmed with a break below yesterday's low at 34,000, yeah, 530 basically, right? So um, that would be the pathway to the downside in a Y wave. The thing is, yesterday's move up was only in three waves. That doesn't really give us a very clear sense of direction. It's not an impulse. I looked at it again. So this move up here is only in three waves. Um, but that is okay because in a diagonal, that's acceptable, okay? So... A diagonal consists of an ABC structure or the sub waves do and an A wave can be a three wave move. So the move down is also corrective. See, it doesn't really make it very easy for us at the moment, but that is when we look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture suggests to us that another high is still favored. Now, if that happens more directly or with a pullback deeper into support, which is between 32,480 and 33,510, that is what the market will have to decide. And there's a very clear pivot, which is here yesterday's low that decides between both of them, which means as long as we stay above yesterday's high, I would be looking for higher below that level. I would be looking for a pullback into support and then for a reaction at these FIP levels that are here on the screen, uh, which could lead to a reversal. But yeah, not much more to add. So I keep it short. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.